Walleye are part of the perch family, and while many walleyes choose to feed along the bottom for very slow-moving prey, other walleye adapt very well for feeding in deeper and shallow water on faster-moving bait fish. In many lakes, both walleye and perch live in the same area, and they also feed in the same locations. But while perch are feeding among the weeds, walleye are actually looking for feeding perch to feed. They won't think twice about eating a perch. One of my favorite ways to target these walleyes that are feeding in shallow water around weed beds is to cast crankbaits that I can control the depth of. If it's early in the morning, I'll actually use a crankbait that has a UV finish, like a rapala tail dancer. I find that that UV finish really sticks out, and because the walleye are hunting, they're looking for anything that has the body profile and a little bit of wobble and flash as a perch that they're looking to feed on. Before I even start casting, I actually rely on my sonar and I look for these weedy areas on my chart and I position my boat so that I can cast to the weeds and also parallel to the weeds. Once I have a good idea where the thickest part of the weed bed is, I'll make short casts just to the edge of the weeds, just in case there's some walleyes that are trying to penetrate right into the weeds where the perch could probably be feeding. After that, I make some casts parallel to the weeds a little bit longer. As soon as I feel a weed, I give my rod a snap. And a lot of times I'll do that and it'll end up being a walleye. So you always have to be ready. I tell people that you'll get a hit when you least expect it. When I use this crankbait presentation around the weeds, I am looking for aggressively feeding walleye. So there's no taps. Either the fish engulfs the bait and it kind of feels like a weed, but then it's a dead weight and they, their heads start shaking or it's a hit like a muskie or a pike and you've got a fish on. As soon as you do that, it's really important that you keep the pressure on and steer that fish away from the weeds.